Hi and welcome to another video right here on Tejano Keyboard. Today what I want to talk about is uh, reharmonization. It's something that I've seen a lot of people do. I'm starting to understand the concept of it a little bit, which it's not very hard to understand. It's just trying to come up with the ideas to be able to harmonize something, especially something Tejano, you know, something that we're familiar with. So what is reharmonization? So essentially what it is is where you get a melody and you change the harmony to fit that melody. So for example, let's just say Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in B flat, okay? Okay, there we go. So it would go from the one chord to the four chord, which is from B flat to E flat, then B flat to F, which is the five chord, and then back to B flat. Okay, so it'd be Okay, so instead of going um, B flat, let's try and find another chord that would fit the B flat. Maybe a G minor seventh. Okay. Uh, another note that might, or another chord that might fit would be, um, I don't know, a B major seventh. And you can switch the two chords together too. You could play, uh... and that's the other thing is that when you're reharmonizing, you want to make movements that make sense. Stuff that sounds like it belongs together. You don't want to just be hitting a bunch of random chords. So, for example, uh, that B major seventh might not fit with the the G minor, but it might fit with a. B flat major seventh because it's just like a half step up and then coming back down. You know? Let's see. And then you're gonna go to the So that's the F right there. You can hit a F dominant seventh. Or you can hit a, a F minor seventh leading you to to another B flat dominant seventh so you could go uh let's try instead of the B major let's just do the uh G minor so we can go and then you can go to the with a B flat dominant okay and then you can go to the uh, E flat. You know, so you can substitute different chords depending on the, the melody, but it hasn't really been done too much in Tejano music. So I've tried something out. It's just kind of like an experiment. It's not necessarily meant to be something good. <laughs> it's just a proof of concept that it can be done. Uh, obviously, this is something that's overkill uh, and something that might not sit well with the average Tejano listener, but it is something that as musicians we can experiment with because it might spark some interest in doing other things. So what I've done is I've taken the polka uh, Maria Bonita and I've tried to reharmonize it in a way where it does sound a little bit different from the traditional chord progressions because it just that one it basically has like a like a four five one sort of thing. So it's in the key of G, so it's gonna go C D G. And then it just stays in G for a long time. And then it uh, goes to the five chord and it stays in the five chord for a long time. Uh, but nonetheless, you, you should be familiar with it. If not, uh, it's loosely based off of the rendition that was recorded by Moss uh, in like the late 90s. So get a chance to check that out. If not, here's the little polka with a reharmonization. I present to you, Maria Bonita. Hope you enjoy it.
Thank you. 